Hey guys, it's Dog Nightingale. Welcome to my kitchen. So I'm going to be doing a series called Cooking with Storm or Cooking a Storm with Storm Nightingale. It's still a working title in progress. But yeah, I just thought why not expand a bit more and do a bit of cooking as well on my YouTube channel because cooking is creativity. So yeah. <laughs> so today we are going to make chocolate chip cookies but I am going to cheese a bit and using a packet because I'm a student and packet mixes are cheaper than buying the ingredients itself. So yeah. So what you will need to make this recipe is the cooking mix or flour, sugar, butter and other ingredients, including chocolate chips as well, whatever one you want to make. Well, I'm doing the milk chocolate because that's what's within this mix. Even if it's a mix, you still need baking butter. I prefer using baking butter than unsalted or salted because it's just easier, it's the same. You also need water as well, which I'll be getting during this video from the tap. So yeah, you will also need baking trays, whichever one you need to use, a mixing bowl, that's the only bowl I've got, or if you're a student like me, a tub to mix it in, and either a wooden spoon or a metal spoon, whichever one is your preference. So yeah. Let's get to it. Before we start, I'd like to say that you need to make sure that your hands are washed, which I've already done before hitting record. And if you've got long hair, tie it backwards because it's all to do with hygiene at the end of the day. Also wear either an apron or just some clothes that you're comfortable with getting like dirty in that. Well, I'm just wearing these. I can just put them into the wash if they get a bit messy, but yeah, it's all part of the fun. So yeah, let's get to it. Step one, preheat the oven. Now, my preference is like just preheat it to the maximum and then you can always dial it down to whatever the instruction says or to whatever recipe you're following. If you're following this recipe, then I would recommend it's 180 degrees Celsius if you like to dial it down. So yeah, that's step one. <laughs> step two, you need to prep your ingredients. What I mean by prep is like opening out the packet or um, emptying it into a mixing bowl or, you know, weighing it all out and everything. But yeah, I'm just going to open these with pair of scissors. That's if I can get my scissors out. I should have done this. This is so to get it out from. There we go. Yeah, this is what I use as my utensil holder, but I keep it in my cupboard, so it's just easier. I just find it's neater than to just ripping it open and all the ingredients go everywhere. I'm thinking that I should probably use the top because there's a bit more than I anticipated. So yeah, the next step is to empty the sachets out into a tub or a mixing bowl. Like I said, I'm using a tub because my mixing bowl is too small and too shallow. So 
the next step is to put the bottom in. Yeah, I'm wearing Stranger Things t-shirts, got something on the as well as the front. Awesome. And I need 25 grams of unsalted butter. I have done this before, so yeah. I should probably show you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Should probably do it this side so that I'm not just showing my back to the camera. Yeah, if you haven't, um, if you can't tell, this is the first time that I'm doing this. I would say that's enough butter. I would say that's roughly 25 grams. The next step is to stir it in. If it's not combining together, which is what you need to be doing, then to add in the water, it does say to add in water anyway on my packet that I'm using, but yeah. Also adapt this recipe to however you need it to be adapted. So my ones, this recipe is completely vegetarian, or else I wouldn't be eating this. And I should really be doing it from scratch using gluten-free flour, but I will. I'm using what I've got. <laughs> but yeah, just adapt it however you want it to be adapted. If, like me, you have to have gluten-free stuff, then get gluten-free flour, and anything else that you should be needing. If you're vegan, then use um, the Alvaro baking butter because that's used for soya or whatever soya baking butter there is. And I would say carob chocolate or soy chocolate because again, that's vegan. So just a hint. If you're not vegetarian, vegan or anything like that, then just go with whatever you think is comfortable. Just, yeah. Um, this recipe does not have eggs in because it's cookies, not cake. So, yeah. For those who want to know, I have done cooking before, like many times. I've been cooking since I was a kid. Just saying. But yeah. As you can see, this is still a bit dry, so I'm just going to add in some water onto this. You only need 20 millilitres of water. I should have measured out the water before, but... I didn't. <laughs> there we go, it's binding together. I would say when you're adding in water to any recipes, a little at a time is always better because if needed, you can always add a bit more. It's harder to like work with a really liquid recipe, especially if you don't have any extra flour or corn flour or gluten-free flour or anything like that. So there's a tip. I know this seems a bit unprofessional because I'm just stood in front, 
mixing but the thing is is that the side that I've got if I go on to that side it's too like small of a gap in between the camera and if I go there you'll just see my back so a wall in theatre never face your back to the audience it applies with some levels of media as well in some circumstances unless it states in the script that you need to have your back to the audience then have your back to the audience or if they've only seen the back of you then yeah some people actually do that they hire out stunts so that they can just see the back of you instead of them true fact Mixture that has got orange in. Good job, I'm not allergic. If you've got any allergies to anything, I would always recommend to make it from scratch. But like I said, I'm a student and so all I've got is the mixes, so I thought to use what I've got. Mixes are cheaper than buying all the other ingredients. But yeah, unless you're going, if you know that you're going to be using it again and again and again until it's run out, then it's worth investing in. Otherwise, just get the mix. I will do some recipes like from scratch, so it's not all just mixes, so don't you worry. There we go. I think that's mixed in now, as you can see. I mean, it's a bit lumpy, but it didn't say anything plus it's got chocolate chips in so I know it's not a healthy recipe but still it's good as a treat <laughs> right, there we go the next step is to put it onto a baking tray make it into like cookie shapes so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm thinking of using this baking tray. So, yeah. So you just pull it into like little blobs. Oh, and my baking tray is non stick, so if you don't have a non stick baking tray, the next step is to um, grease it or to put grease proof paper on or parchment. Garlic from Waitrose. Or if you're in like other areas, that's not the Midlands. <laughs> I mean, you could roll it up into little bolts and then just press it down. But I don't. I think I've made it a bit too liquidy to do that. I'm a bit too close to the camera. Um, for those people who don't know what colour my hair colour is, I know none of you have said it, but like I have been questioned that before, like so many times. So you can see it's kind of red. So, redhead. The shade is auburn. And it's natural, I have not dyed it. 
for those who need to know. I should have spaced these out more evenly. Oops. But yeah. That's what they look like. I know they don't look the prettiest right now. But they will look so much better when they're out of the oven. True fact. I'm just going to put some onto this one as well. Because why not? have enough mixture it's gonna say liquid but not enough that stretches over something like that This is my first cooking video, so please, please do not like say, oh, it's awful or anything like that, because it's my first time, so. If anything, if you want, could you please like give me some tips on this? Because I am new to like the cooking and filming it. So yeah, like any hints and tips you've got, I do know original recipes, so if there's a recipe that you want to know how to make, then please put it in the comments below and I could do that within the future. But like, I'm just going to be making like vegetarian, like, adaptations of each recipe. But I will like do some other non-vegetarian and give tips along the way. Like the recipe should be able, any recipe that I make should be able to easily adapt anyway. To whatever your dietary requirements are. I mean for me, vegetarian, gluten free at the moment. So, yeah. I'm just making them into more cookie shapes, if anything. So yeah, I need to just wash my hands a bit. The next step is to lower down the um, the oven, <laughs> like the temperature of it, if you pull it like me, get high, to whatever it says on the packet or to whatever recipe. I'd always recommend 180 degrees Celsius because if need be, you can either like, because it's at a high temperature so it'll cook quicker anyway, so yeah. But my recipe states 190. Like most recipes will either be between 180 degrees Celsius to 200. Unless it's a meat product or anything else, then it might require higher. But in this case, it's 180 to 190. And what you do, you put them in the oven. You should use oven gloves, but I don't have any. Like those are my flatmates, so. Um, 
I'm just going to be using my tea towel to take them out. Don't know if there's room to put the other tray in. Yeah, there is room to put the other tray in. And then you put them in the oven, I'd say for about 10-15 minutes, if anything. So, yeah, it's just easier if it is 10-15 minutes so that they don't overcook and burn, but then they're not like undercooked. But it just adapts it to however you like it. I mean, personally, cookies are nice and crisp on the outside with like a bit of gooeyness on the inside. I like the Domino's ones. Or like some shop bought. Um, but yeah, like, it's just different preference really. During this time, you can use to A, keep an eye on the oven, and B, tidy up. And that's what I'm gonna do, tidy up. You can also use this time to go on the internet. <laughs> But I wouldn't say procrastinate for too long because you don't want them to burn. You kind of need to keep an eye on them a bit. So yeah. I didn't need to use the spoon. to do a cooking video today because I've actually got the time and for the rest of the day I'm going to be cleaning anyway and doing coursework. It's a Saturday and for once I actually don't have much going on. I could see about watching a movie later with my flatmates but that's it today. This is tends to be one of the boring days. Even though it's a Saturday, but we're in lockdown, so we can't exactly do much. Normally, I'd go outside on a Saturday or be back at home, see my family. But at the moment, I can't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I still go out on a Saturday, but not every Saturday, if that makes sense. Like, if I don't need to go out shopping or go to work, then got this day to chill. So yeah. Um, during the week people like say have been asking me why I've been busy and that and I'm like well I go to university, I do coursework, I do work as well, part time work but that's about it. Like I mean I live by myself, I kind of need to like keep on paying my bills and keep on paying for my own groceries and all that. Yeah. Oh, they're looking so. Don't know if you can see. But they are starting to look really good. Yep. You can see. But yeah, they're starting to look quite good at the moment. I need to shut the door. There we go. But yeah, um, they're not done at the moment, so I'm just trying to think of what to do, what to say between this time and when they come out. Yeah. I mean, I do performing arts at university. I'm in the performing arts department. So singing, dancing, acting, and music work as well. At the moment, I'm doing site projects, so I've got that going for me. Um, yeah, 
So I've got like, I tend to be quite busy on a day to day basis. So, just yeah. Um, but yeah, this platform is professional work for creativity and for performing arts. To be honest, it's like to log and showcase what I've been doing during this time. But I just decided to do like cooking videos and craft videos for entertainment value rather than just like music covers constantly every single day. Because I have noticed that I've been losing some views and losing, I did lose a few subscribers, which I don't get why, but I guess, yeah. They're still not ready to come out. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, adapt it to however you like them to be cooked. You could even make it into cookie dough. Cookie dough is amazing. My favourite place to get cookie dough from has to be creams. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, pretty much. But like I haven't been able to have cookie dough like how I used to because... I have gluten-free stuff, so yeah. But yeah, Creams is an amazing place. This video is not sponsored. Just pointing that. It's not sponsored by anything, so I just thought to do this video, yeah. To be honest, I got this inspiration for making cooking videos from the YouTubers Dan and Phil, but I've also had the inspiration from PewDiePie as well, because he's a great YouTuber, they all are. Dan and Phil are funny, so is PewDiePie, and you can't really compare them to because they're from like, they're completely different, their contents are different, but similar in some aspects, but yeah. Like, it's similar since they both do gaming and other platforms as well. But it's different because Dan and Phil tend to be together or on their own platforms. And yeah. Just saying. But I do idolise them all. My top five YouTubers have to be. PewDiePie, Dan and Phil, or Dan Howell and Phil Lester. I don't know if you're counting that as one or two. If you are, then okay. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I do sometimes like to watch RCL Beauty one on one, but I wouldn't say that she's in my top five. Superwoman is in my top five <laughs> as well. Emma Blackery, she's an amazing inspirational YouTuber to me. I love her music and everything that she does and her music has been inspirational. So it's inspired me to do like stuff with my life. And that is five, but if you count Dan and Phil as one, then I'd have to say Bob's Beauty is my fifth one. She's also inspirational because she has such a positive outlook on life. And that in itself is just beautiful. Honestly, I don't really have a positive outlook on life. I'm more of a realist. I have a realistic view on life. So yeah. So, progress on the cookies. Let's just have a look. They're looking quite good, but they're not done. Actually, the back ones kind of look done. So, I'm going to take them out of the oven and show you guys what they look like. If I can get them out. <laughs> oh my god, they smell amazing. It's hot. <laughs> I don't know if 
you guys knew this, but ovens are hot. I'm not that stupid, I do know that they're hot. I've burned myself like multiple times. Ooh, they're looking so good, but they're so hot. They need to go back in. Those definitely need hunger. And let's put it back up. There we go. So yeah, that's the cookies. They're doing just fine. But yeah. Honestly, for some of the videos I make, I don't edit, but some I do. Recently, I can't edit because I got a new laptop my old laptop I couldn't edit so if I wanted to edit something I'd have to go to university and go into one of the buildings and get it edited there but yeah that's just it um, most things I do record and re-record if I don't think it's of a certain standard then I re-record like, if I knew in myself that I've messed up, I would record. But I think, I don't know if you lot have all noticed in my YouTube channel, in any of the videos, I do not watch them back. That might sound weird, but I don't. I just can't stand my voice, my own voice, and I can't stand, like, anything that I do. Um, that would call myself one. I just don't know. I'm just not vain. I know that most people do it so that they can give themselves criticism and everything. But I just don't. If I know that I've messed up and people have told me that I've messed up, then I will re record. Otherwise, I just re record until I know in myself it's perfect. Just saying. Okay, they're done. They're done. Oh, please don't say that I've burnt. Ooh, they have not burnt. And they're done. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all the masterpiece. Well, I say it's a masterpiece. It's not. It's been made from a packet. But yeah, I'm just so proud of that they have not burnt. <laughs> they, that's the mini batch that I've done. Yeah, no, they don't look the prettiest and they're not like complete circles. But I did say that I was just blobbing it on. So, no, that just sounds wrong. Um, I was just... <laughs> Scooping it out of the sub onto the tray. So yeah, um, I know they're not like the prettiest, but I don't think they're bad for first attempt. But yeah, if you guys want to use this recipe, then please let me know in the comments below and take pictures of your master creations and post them up in the comment section down below also if you want to send me them through instagram then you can do if you know it's on it's in one of my comment sections my instagram is becca underscore amazing 15 and don't just tag me into it please or like please let me know that you're tagging me into anything otherwise just send me a quick message saying hi and send me the masterpieces that you've made and your master creations using this recipe 
If you have any suggestions for any videos, then please again comment them in the section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for recipes or songs that you want me to sing later on in this video, well, in this channel, or anything at all, then please comment them down in the comments section below. I know I've kept on saying that a lot. But yeah, thank you all for joining me in my kitchen in a different location. Well, still in my flat, but still. But yeah, thank you all for joining me on this little journey. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe.